Good evening. Good evening. Today is January 14, 2014, Friday. I am speaking with Professor Onil Kumar Shaha. Um, this interview is being conducted in New York. Um, Professor Shaha, um, tell me what's your dish? Actually, I am from. Um Present Bangladesh, but uh, I okay. was born in Andaman in India. Okay, where? And it is uh, under Nato district now. Okay, in the village Kalong. Kalong. So how big was the village? It was a very big village at that time. People used to say, if you want to see a village, go to Kalong. Kalong. And if you want to see a uh, land, go to Ch Cholong. Cholon. Uh, Cholon. Bill. Bill. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So in that way, that uh, that village was very, very eminent. Eminent. Uh, uh, so ab about how many people? Any idea? No? Actually, I cannot give you that picture. But very uh, large. People, but it was a very big village. Okay. And uh, there are all types of people living there. Hindu Muslims Hindu both? Hindu Muslims both. Well, so <clears throat> so uh, how, how was your house like? Can you describe? You see, we have a uh, house, it was not a uh, brick house, okay. it was uh, a house made by tin shed. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, wood, wood on the side? Wood, yes, uh, it was supported by wooden pillars. Uh, and the mud in And uh, the wall is covered by tin. Tin. Corrugated okay. tin. Corrugated tin. Uh, okay. How so, many people used to live there? Uh, so, uh, we are uh, having big family. Okay. My, my father having four brothers okay. and uh, their sons and daughters all are living together okay. in that particular uh, house. As in house. How many generations your family lived there, you think? Uh, I think it, uh, we are the fourth generation. Fourth generation? House, yes. Did they migrate from nearby or uh, further? Uh, I came to know from my father that my uh, grandfather's father came from Dhaka. Dhaka. And they settled there. Settled there, okay. What was the name of your parents? Uh, Dr. Bijun Bihari Shah. Bijun Bihari. And mother? Uh, Kali Rani Shah. Kali. And what was their profession? My father was a LMF doctor. Medical doctor? Yes. And mother? Mother was a, uh, House. a housewife. She okay. Was a housewife. And how many brothers and sisters were you? I have four brothers. Uh, okay. And I am the eldest. The eldest. And, and <clears throat> did you go to school there? Oh yes, I studied in Column High School. High school. Uh, from so class five to class ten. Uh, and what about one and one through five? Uh, one to five, uh, one to four. I was in Chapai Navaganj. Chapai Navaganj. That's which in was a maternal uh, uncle's, uncle's house. house. That's in Rajshahi. Uh, that is in uh, Chapai Navaganj. At that time, I cannot remember whether it was Rajshahi or not. Okay, now it's in Rajshahi actually, okay. but it's now it's separate. Thing. Uh, I think uh, at that time Chapai okay. Navaganj was. A what was the name of the school? Do you remember? Uh, I'm sorry. What about the name of the school in in Kolom? Kolom High English School. Okay, uh, and so how did you used to go to the school? I used to go to school uh, on. Uh, in rainy days, we have to go by boat. Boat, yeah. okay. And um, uh, it is very difficult to reach that school during uh, rainy days. But in other time, we have to go on foot. How many miles? It is about uh, two, one mile from my house. One mile, one mile from my house. So you, oh, you, you and your brothers? <coughs> yes, we all studied there. So the school was a mixed school too? Yes. And most of the teachers? Uh, teachers are mostly uh, the Hindus, uh, there are few Muslims. There were few Muslims. Um, so tell me, as you grow up, uh, you're growing up, and so how was the life like? Yeah, you see, uh, village life uh, was uh, very nice, you know. Uh, nowadays, after partition, the, the, the relation between Hindu and Muslims is quite different. But at that time, there was no difference between Hindus so and Muslims. So if there was no differences, then how did, why did families, Hindu families like yours leave? Because, you know, after partition, uh, that uh, 
land is for Muslims when East Pakistan, when Pakistan was made. Hmm. So my father took the decision that we Hindu, we cannot stay here, we have to go. What, they didn't attack on, on them? No, they didn't attack us, but, but, uh, what was the but we are uh, feeling insecure because we are Hindu. Why? Was there any, any other, what were the signs of insecurity? Uh, because this is a land for the, for the Muslims, so, so but, but we, we felt that uh, our life is not secured here. Just like that, because it's 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 a, it's a prejudice, or uh, on the it basis is not of prejudice. prejudice. At that time, you know, in, in 1947, I was a boy of 12 years old, mm -hmm. and just after partition, my f father had a discussion with our uncles that we should dispose some land and we should purchase some land in India. India. But they refused. Mm, because uh, who refused? Our uncle refused. Okay. Uh, well, you, you didn't make the property. This property was made by your grandfather's mm -hmm. and father, mm -hmm. so you have no right to sell it. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, my father took the decision himself alone, and we migrated to India in 1950. 50. What about your uncles? Uh, uncle stayed there. Are they, they still there? Uh, no, they are, all of them have migrated now to India. Uh, but, so, so your parents migrated in fifty. When did, did how long did the rest of the family stay? You see, uh, actually, our migration starts in nineteen fifty. Fifty. Actually, because in nineteen fifty one, I passed the high school exam there, okay. metric, metric okay. exam. Yes, yes. Then, uh, at that time. It was uh, the rule that we have to come to Calcutta for education. Yeah, you know? higher education. So my father took the decision, uh, they have to be at Calcutta, and so we should have a house at Calcutta so hmm. that they can study uh, okay. Calcutta. So, and so uh, the decision was taken in that way, you know. Okay. So in 1951, I did my matric exam, mm -hmm. and I took admission in Calcutta, Bangabashi College. Bangabashi College. In 1951. And so, so, so how did your parents come to Calcutta. What was the mode of transportation? Who paid for them? How uh, actually, my father was a doctor mm -hmm. and he had a good income at that time. Okay. So money was not a problem mm -hmm. to us. You know. Okay, so how did they, did you take a train? Did you take a boat? And oh, yes. Uh, from uh, the village, you have to take a boat to reach Digapotia. Okay. And from Digapotia, we used uh, Tom Tom, what you call the uh, a horse driven uh, car. Ca yeah, yeah. Horse driven car. Yes, and from there we have to go to Nato station, okay. and there we used to take Darjeeling Mail, I can remember, mm -hmm. uh, which reached at Calcutta. Okay. Shalda. So, so, so did others knew that this was you leaving for good? Uh, it was just a beginning, so people are not aware that we are leaving because. At that time, it was kept secret because people don't like that um, uh, that somebody is migrating to India, and those who are living there, they don't welcome this type of information. Mm. Those who are staying back in yes, Kola, yeah, yes. whether Hindus or Muslims, uh, they are also Hindus. Mm. Even the relatives, they mm. don't like. Mm. That so you, they, 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 you, you silently left, but they, he sold some of the property. No. No, he didn't sell. Uh, no, he so didn't what? sell any property. So, 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 wh where in ca in West Bengal did you? You said West Bengal, you came. Yes. So, wh where did they go? Come to? Actually, the uh, my father used to send money. Okay. Uh, no, but where, uh, where? Where? What part? What town? What village? Oh, that is in Netaji Nagar. Netaji Nagar. Oh, yes. That, that was a refugee, a, basically uh, refugee yes. colony. Yes. And uh, they did he purchase land. And uh, at that time, no, it was not a purchase. Jawadakho. Uh, it is not Jabot Dakhul. Actually, a lawyer who mm -hmm. was a, a government lawyer, mm -hmm. he uh, constructed a house there, mm -hmm. tin shed okay. house, mm -hmm. and uh, he came to know as he is a government lawyer, he cannot uh, uh, have land in, in a refugee uh, area. Mm -hmm. you know? So he disposed that uh, house to us. And we have to pay 1,700 rupees for that. Okay. And at that time, I can remember, it was very difficult for my father mm -hmm. to collect that money, 1,700 rupees. Okay. 
It was just a tin house okay. uh, with a bamboo. Uh, but it's a legal, legal property. Uh, it, it is not a legal property because at that time we are not having the registered deed. Okay. We are not having registered still, deed. Do you have now? Or is yes, it? now we have everything. Okay. Uh, so you moved in. So, uh, so, so, so who came first? Was it your mother, uh, father? Uh, or actually, you? no. My, my parents uh, were there. My younger brother and myself came first there. Oh, uh, your teenager then? Yes, and there was a lady uh, who was looking after us. Oh, from your village or from? From my, from my village. So she also migrated with you? No, actually she is not a immigrant. Actually she uh, came there to help us for cooking and other oh, things. So, so your parents send her uh, with you to be to be less sort of a caretaker? Yes, yes. Caretaker. Like yes. Okay. So gradually your parents came? Uh, my, actually, uh, my uh, father and mother came after, finally they came after the independence <coughs> of Bangladesh. Oh, so, so your family was separated from uh, 50 until 71? Yes. After long, 70? For a long time, yeah. uh, we are separated. My father and mother used to come uh, once in a year or twice in a year, Calcutta. Did, did, it, was there anybody stayed with him? Any of your brothers? Or, you mm -hmm. have only four brothers, no sister. Uh, uh, at that time, uh, my third brother was too young. He mm -hmm. was with my parents. Okay. And we two, myself and my next brother. How old was there. your next brother then? Uh, at that right? time, he was junior to me by three years. So at the age of 16, I got matriculation. So he was, so he was 13. 13. So he two, yes. two very young teenagers yes, managing the yes, house. Yes, yes. Just to look after the property, because at that time, if nobody is there, we, we cannot uh, give that uh, land in our position. Okay. So, so you stayed. Uh, now I'll come back. So, so you, you, when was your other two brothers came with you? Uh, they came very late. My uh, youngest brother he came after 1963. 63. Youngest brother was junior to me by 14 years. 14 years. And my third uh, brother, uh, he also came very late because he went to Chapai Nawabganj. Okay, your to, mama's place, uh, to maternal, maternal uncle's place. house, to look after my uh, grandfather there, mm -hmm. maternal grandfather. Mm -hmm. So yeah. she, my third brother was uh, brought up in Chapai Nawabganj. Okay, so so your maternal and grandparents are still there, or their family no, is still no, there in Chapai no, Nawabganj? No, nobody is there now. Okay. They have expired. So what happened in, then? Then then, so between fifty and and and. Uh, 71. How pleasant the life was of your parents? Uh, actually, you see, my father was a doctor and he was a very uh, well established person there. And uh, he has good reputation, mm -hmm. so he had no problem okay. to stay there. Yeah. And moreover, uh, that is the only source of income. Not mm -hmm. only that, my two uncle was also doctor there. Okay. There um, at that time. So, whole family so, of doctors? Uh, doctors, yes. uh, you yes. see. So uh, my father, by virtue of his uh, position, he had no problem to live there. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see, at that time we were very young, so somebody had to earn for us. Mm -hmm. So sure, sure, my sure, father sure, sure. was there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So what happened in 71? How did he survive? Actually, uh, after independence. No, no, during the independence, 71. Yeah, during struggle. In, uh, mm -hmm. Actually, um, uh, did he stay the, in the village? Uh, you see, actually what happens, uh, the people, some people of Mushidabad, mm -hmm. they went in our village as refugees. You say Hindus or Muslims? They're Muslims. Okay. And uh, these people by nature was quite different from the rest of the Muslim people of our okay. country. You know? Because the, the Muslims of our village they are quite nice people. They mm. know us very well. Mm. So these people actually uh, burned our house. Really? Yes. Which year? It is uh, just after independence. So uh, Bangladesh independence? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So after or during? Uh, during the is, struggle? It is, it is after independence. So Bangladesh became independent mm. and then and they burned this thing? They burned the house. So wh and, where were your parents? My uh, parents have to, he was for one year, he was living with his uh, patient, the patient's house, you know. 
in, in, in remote uh, bills, what you call bill uh, is is uh, a is a is a is a, uh, is is a, a lake a lake so, is yeah. a big lake is a, is a Muslim or Hindu family um, uh, there are Muslims and there are Hindus also so they he lived your both your parents lived yes, with our, them for yes, one year for one year so did did you know what was happening to your parents at yes, the time yes I, I came here? to know from my father that um, uh, every uh, month or every uh, alternate week uh, some people when they came to know the doctor is living here and sometimes the people is uh, telling the uh, owner of the house that you are giving shelter to a Muslim, uh, sorry Hindu mm -hmm. and you will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that time he has to migrate to other sounds. Another. So, uh, so for this, both, they, they, but, but they never came to you or, or no, India? No, no, no. They, so they, they migrated from one house to another yes, house to yes. another house? Yeah. But it they was were a very hard, hard life for my yeah. uh, father and mother. And my father earned at that time because he has only a pound and pain with him and he prescribed medicine okay. and in that way he earned his livelihood. Well, what, what happened to you? Uh, so, so did after independence, Bangladesh independence, your parents came back to your house? Yes, it and, came back. And then the Murshidabad Muslims burned the house down? Actually, or when, during or before? Uh, no, when they are out, when they left the house, huh. when uh, Pakistan army. government, army attacked, hmm. uh, Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. At that time, they left the house. Okay. What, and what when they came back, okay. they found that everything is burned. Okay. Yeah. So, so they were not there. Mm -hmm. It was so. It was. Yes. It was torched during, during. During their absence. Uh, yes. During, during their, their absence. absence. Yes. So did they? Did they have to build the whole? Naturally, did they build the whole no, house? No, no, no. My father left the village, as the house was not there. That is the reason he left. And he, where did he go? He came to Calcutta. He know. came to Netaji Nagar. Netaji stayed with you. Yes. Okay. So that was how was he? What was his feeling at that time? You see, you see, my father was um, actually India was partitioned in 1947, and my father was very much attached with the village. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He he was telling that I was born here. Mm -hmm. So long uh, I can stay, I will stay in this country. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, and uh, uh, he told me that when I find my house is burned off, uh, I took the decision. So I did, did Bangladesh myself. government give any compensation? No. Nobody nothing. gave any compensation? Nothing. What happened to your, and that house your uncle? One important uh, things I can remember, my father told me, that during uh, Paki, uh, Pakistan uh, Bangladesh attack, liberation, yeah. uh, he was uh, taken by a Rajakar. Rajakar, a Muslim uh, killer. Uh, yeah. And uh, when um, the patient, one of the patients came to know that uh, somebody has taken uh, Dr. Shah, mm -hmm. he went to Rajakar. He's a Muslim? Gave, he's Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. Okay. He's a Muslim. Yeah. He went to Rajakar and he gave money to release my father. Oh, he released. Yeah. So he say it's a, he it released this by Muslim yeah. killer. Yes. yes. Uh, but Rajakas were killing yes. Yes. Hindus. Yes. yes. Um, uh, so what? And did they take your mother too, or mother was not? Taken? No, mother. Mother was at home. Had. My father. What about? Was what? What? Where were your uncles? Uh, about my uncles, because uh, my uncle did had they have different, ha different building? Did they live uh, in? No, the they are living in the same. So that was also compound, gone. Same oh. compound, but uh, no. Uh, Rajakar uh, didn't. Uh, but they, they also, when they came back, mm -hmm. did they flee during seventy one? Yes, they left. So when and they left uh, that village and came to the main column. Uh, uh, I mean, column bazaar, where there is a. We have some land there, and they constructed house there. Oh, column bazaar in. It in? is in. Uh, it is in column. Oh, I said, Kolom oh, Bajar is okay. a, is a oh, developed yeah, yeah. place. It's more developed, the, yeah. Column Village. Uh, Column Village. Yeah. Yeah. So, did they have the still house there? Uh, yes, they have they, still they don't house live there. there. House but, is there, but uh, uh, No, uh, some of my uh, uncle's son is still there. Zila, okay. All right. Now, mm, uh, so, so, how was it feeling like when your parents came to you? Living their house, uh, completely gutted house. Uh, uh, we are we are happy that my parents happy? are yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We are happy. And, and I told my parents many times that uh, you should come to India as early as possible, 
by but my father you see he had a attachment that's it so that's what i'm trying to figure out what was the feeling like when they came uh, you and see, said they are happy to see you i'm sure i am i am having that attachment i was in that village for 5 years only but still i am attached with that village no wh- but what about your parents reaction you to see, when Japan. they came to india uh, uh, you see uh, we have a very uh, big house at calcutta in netaji nagar so they are not unhappy there but they have to leave the village or country for that they have some pains within you know how how many how uh, i mean uh, how long uh, did they go ever go back to visit their village no, no. did you ever go back to village no, column no, no. So it was one way. One well, they, way. Trip. They came and they never. Went. You also came and never went back. No, I. I uh, last time I was there in 1956. Okay. When I was a student in B.Sc. class at Calcutta. Okay. Uh, so that is the last visit to that oh, country. Okay. So after Bangabashi, what what did you go to school? Uh, I went to uh, for bachelor degree. I went to City College. City College. City College South or City College North? Uh, city College, Main City College. Main City College. Um, yeah. Then from uh, there, uh, I have to go to Pilani to study masters. Masters. Did you do engineering? No, I did masters in zoology. Zoology. And then when did you come to the United States? Uh, I came in 1999. 1999. As an immigrant. Immigrant. As an immigrant. And do you have your family now here? Oh yes, my wife is here. My son is here. Okay. Very nice. Uh, so. So do you have you do you think I mean you see West Bengal is in the majority but the Muslims are minority they have been able to stay but in in Bangladesh they are also Bengali but it's a Muslim majority but Hindus are minority the minorities have not been able to stay why is that so because uh, India is a secular country that Bangladesh it is also a secular country no at present i i i'm not going to answer so <laughs> but, uh, but if it is a secular country so why yeah, but, uh, why the, the the thing is very simple in that way india was partitioned on the basis of religion when india become secular country and pakistan and east pakistan are for the muslims so here we find the difference when india was partitioned on the basis of religion one is pakistan and west pakistan are for the muslims and india became secular so but then the, the this is a clear implication but the other was for muslims that been hindustan india okay. should have been but, a land for hindus but why didn't why didn't do you think hindus in bangladesh could have stayed by force did should they have exerted more force to stay no it is not possible because they are minority there you know but muslims are minority in india uh, muslims are minority in india but the india is a secular country okay okay so in, uh, muslims has equal right like hindus okay. in india All but right. that right um, a hindu cannot exert okay. there so why not because you know uh, because they are the administration because uh, the, we we know that india was partitioned some parts for hindu some parts for muslims okay. so the muslims think that hindu should leave this country which is not for you uh. all right so uh, have you ever been discriminated persecuted in india as a refugee mm. in school and in colleges sometimes the, was it the persecution or teasing uh, teasing was there because when i was doing my research work there I came in contact with the boys and girls of West Bengal and boys and girls of uh, East Bengal. They uh, confused me. They they thought that I am a person from West Bengal because I I speak language mm-hmm. of North Bengal. Mm-hmm. So they confused me. I am a person of West Bengal. Then I told them, you see, these people uh, have left the country. You know, their forefathers. Two generations made certain things. Mm-hmm. They have to leave. Uh, just to think, mm-hmm. if you have to leave your house today and go to an unknown place, what will be your reactions? Yeah. Uh, so, until unless a person become refusee, they don't 
they, they cannot share their feeling. Yes. This I understand. Sure, sure, sure. Now, if people ask you what's your desh, what's your country, what's your homeland, what do you say? But still I would say I am I am a person from undivided India, which is now Bangladesh. Okay. So that is my origin, you know. Okay. Uh, All right. I, I will not say that I am from West Bengal. Okay. All right. Uh, have do you have you ever thought because of partition of Bengal, has anyone benefited, whether rich or poor, Hindus or Muslims, West Bengalis, Bangladeshis, has anybody benefited? <coughs> the partition of India or Bengal, I'm talking about. Actually, uh, <coughs> some state don't understand. What is partition? No, true, but I'm talking about Bengal. Has anybody yes, benefited? Yes, they have suffered, especially the Hindus. Who are but migrate. has anybody benefited? Uh, if I consider uh, that 80% um, of the property in Bangladesh was under the control of Hindus, mm -hmm. <coughs> so after they migrate to India, mm -hmm. that property now is enjoyed by the Muslim community. Okay. So in that way, that is a benefit for them. All right. We are losing. So I'm almost at the very end. Uh, so <coughs> is there any anything that you want to add? Is there anything that I didn't ask you? Is there anything you want to say? Actually, um, this way. The division, the division of India uh, is not favorable for Bangladesh or Punjab. The people, those who have suffered most, they are from two states, one from Punjab, another from Bangladesh. So in my opinion, we are sufferers mm -hmm. due to this partition. Okay. Uh, and we are still suffering. Okay. I, uh, All right. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Shah, for your time.